Okay, we're just about ready to start. I'm nervous. I'm too. And then the quake hits. Watch what happens. Just like in many real earthquakes, there is a brief pause, and then the shaking begins again. Oh, here comes oh my the God. second one. Oh my Whoa. God. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. That's really Every scary. Every set of shells. Everything is down. Everything is down. Except for the desk. To say the least, the place is a wreck, and it could have been a death trap. What do you think looking at this? Hey, that that somebody, somebody, like... somebody could die in that, in that room. <laughs> Easy. You know? If you weren't under the desk, you would be in bad shape. Yeah. Once the engineers determined it was safe to go up, we brought the Fritches into the wrecked mock-up of their home. This is just a total disaster. This is totally uh, not anything I would have thought it would happen. Mm -hmm. You can take a peek at the left. Oh, the left wow. Overs. Oh, my God. It's just devastating. Really, really devastating. But now they'll have the chance to see what happens when their furniture is secure. For this test, earthquake safety contractor Mike Esrig fasten down most of the big household items. I would absolutely say that they need to fasten their china hutches, their armoires, their television sets, uh, make sure that's done. The water heater, of course, that could start a fire if it bursts. Virtually everything was secured in the home, except the mock-up of the big TV set, which we left unfastened to see what might happen. And then this simulated quake hit. Look at this chandelier. As we saw, the Fritches were still amazed at the quake strength. A lot of loose knickknacks and other unsecure items flew around the rooms, yet the main furniture stayed put, except for that weighted mock-up of the big TV set. It wasn't secured and it took off, but overall it appears if their furniture was secured, the Fritches would not have been injured if the big one hit. But remember, that's if their furniture was secured, bolted down or fastened. What did we learn from what we saw in this house today? It made a big difference whether these furniture were strapped to the walls or not. This is the Fritch's study with fastening on the left and without fastening on the right. Contractor Mike Esrig hopes people who live in places at risk of quakes get the message. They'll be proactive as opposed to reactive. In the Northridge earthquake, a lot of people came out after and they fastened their homes and they, they got all prepared. They bought the earthquake kits, but that was too late. They needed to do it beforehand. So this what a mess. And as for the Fritch family, they got a chance to see what they can change before the earthquake or tragedy strikes. If you were in this room, I don't know if you would have escaped it. This is totally uh, not anything I would have thought it would happen. Mm -hmm. But it's just everything. Everything is gone or moved. Or Does this make you feel better, it's, worse? It makes me feel nervous because all this heavy furniture just falling to the ground. It's scary to think of what could happen. Scary, no doubt about it. But if you take the steps to be prepared, you can avoid a scene like this oh! from rocking your world if the big one comes knocking on your front door. <laughs>